Dead Toast Entertainment and Devolver Digital presents Blood, Bullets, Bananas, My Friend Pedro. Hey. Wake up. Rise and shine, sleepyhead. Hey. Whoa, relax. It's me, Pedro, your friend. You got knocked out pretty bad there. Are you okay? How many fingers am I holding up? Never mind. Let's just get out of here, wherever we are. Look around, move, and jump. Welcome to Trand Wins, my friend Pedro. Dang, the door is locked. Maybe there's another way out. Ah, look. Try wall jumping to the next floor. Nice. How irresponsible. Some nincompoop left their pistol just laying around. Any nutter could come around and cause all sorts of damage. Go on, pick it up. I think we can escape through this vent. Shoot it open. Nice shooting! Alright, so this playthrough will be a little bit different. For the most part, it's going to be post-commentary. Oh, Chucks, that's Mitch the Butcher. His meat operation's a front for smuggling unlicensed firearms. The meat is mainly rats, pigeons, or whatever person they didn't like the look of that day. I guess that explains how we ended up here. Hey, boss. It's quiet out there tonight. Don't! Don't interrupt me while I'm working, you simpleton. Is the shipment ready? It's almost ready. Useless slackers. I'll show them what happens when they slack off. Go make yourself useful and prepare whatever sorry sack of meat's laying in the basement. <sighs> He's coming this way. You have to take him out. Ready? This will be a no damage playthrough. Huh. I guess you'll just have to kill them all now. I guess you could even call it a walkthrough since I plan on going into detail on ways to get through the maps. But I will tell you right now that on the 8th level, the last one of this episode, I do get damage. I'm going to just chalk this up as a bonus stage since it's a vehicle segment <laughs> and not getting damaged would appear to be an abnormally tedious chore. And this is coming from someone who played one of the levels 7 hours just to get through it flawlessly. So hopefully you can forgive that. Have you been drinking enough water? You seem a bit out of it. Come, I'll take you to my special place and help you back on track. This is where I go when you can't see me. Now, let me show you something. Hold still. This is heavily edited. During any focus section, I will speed that up to normal time. See that? When you focus, it's like time slows down. And when you focus, you can do flips in the air. Now you try it. I want to see you do a full 360 flip. Beautiful. I do a full flip in slow motion while shooting this priceless vase my grandmother gave to me. So I am using focus. Doing a no focus run is significantly easier than doing a no damage run. Glorious! Ready for the last trick? While holding two weapons, you can separate your aim. Shoot these two vases by separating your aim. Jolly good! You're a mean butt kicking machine. Now where were we? When the sound gets a little muffled and the screen lights up, that is actually slow motion when I'm playing. But during editing, I've sped it up to real time. You sure you know what you're doing? Relax. These turrets practically install themselves. You just take this thing, put it in here, and then... Looks like you have to dodge your way past those bullets. Such grace. Remember, you can use the same maneuver to dodge any oncoming bullets. Old Town, Stage 1, Start. Yep, just as I thought. We're in Old Town. Mitch runs this place. It's like a retirement home for senior mobs without a retirement plan. I could actually get significantly more points 
if I you know, do riskier stress such as backflipping off of the enemy. But since I'm trying to do a no damage run, that's just not as conducive. You could also go faster than I currently am by, for example, not even worrying about the enemies, just running right through them. So this is not going to be the fastest run, nor is it going to be the highest scoring run. This is just a solid S rank no damage run. The first level is fairly self-explanatory. Enemies tend to be by themselves, nothing too dangerous. Achievement Unlocked Mumble Combo. There are several achievements that I will have obtained throughout this run, but they won't typically be displayed here. For example, before I finished the fourth stage, I had already gotten the 2000 kills achievement, just playing that stage over and over and over to fine tune my run. Achievement Unlocked. Achievement Unlocked Gold Star for you. Achievement Unlocked Comb Over. Level complete. Achievement unlocked. Gold star for you. Old Town. Stage 2. Start. The fastest way out of Old Town is through Mitch's fine dining restaurant on the other end of this industrial area. So you'll see at the bottom of the screen several icons. On the left you have the heart for health. On the highest difficulty mode, it is one notch, there are no separate notches, and you do not regenerate health. On lower difficulty modes, you have separate notches, and they can regenerate up to the end of the last partially filled notch. Below that is a timer icon, which stands for how much focus energy you have. And then on the very far right, you have your weapon, how many bullets currently loaded, represented in analog format. And then next to that, how many bullets you have in total, including what's in your gun. It's a little bit of a weird readout. And then in the middle, you have a multiplier icon dependent on how many people you are killing. On the left is what action gets you those points, and on the right is how much those points are worth. It's a little bit weird. I, I think they should have the, the elements on the same side. So like for example, uh, a kill is worth 500 points, so it's going to be nearest to the circle after the battle. But it's, it's going to be a little bit hard to read during all the frantic action, so I, I feel like that interface could be a little bit improved. So there's several segments where it's fairly difficult to keep your combo meter going. So you've got to plan ahead for that. Silky Smooth. Old Town, Stage 3, Start. Old Town used to have a place bursting with coach before Mitch the Butcher moved in. I went to some crazy raid parties in this very building actually. Brings back memories. Here I switch out a weapon, because even though you have two pistols, your single pistol equipment slot has a separate amount of ammo in it. So that's a nice little trick you can do if you don't have time to reload. Stage 4. Start. This level took me 7 hours to do. Right, we should be getting pretty close to Mitch the Butcher's fine dining restaurant now. Just carry on straight ahead, you can't miss it. Alright, so this guy, you should probably just kick him to get his submachine gun and keep your bonus going. 
If you shoot him before you drop down to the barrel, it's possible that your bonus will run out. These three areas right here, the enemy corpses provide a lot of cover for the bad guys. The positions and the number of enemies per door is not randomized. If you shoot the barrel just enough, it'll plop down and crush the dude. And given that the way the enemy is positioned, his body will cause the barrel to slide left. A lot of the times, though, the barrel can just keep going to the right and it won't help you that much. While you can ride the barrel, in this case, I'm just playing for no damage, so I just try to take it a little safer. This room I get damaged a ton of times. I believe that the enemy can actually still hurt you while you're mid-dodge if they're close to you. So I start clearing out a few of them from above before I head down there. On that one, I actually roll instead of ducking so I could I was gonna try to shoot the guy that in the top right that was a little weird move over there but hey so I made it through this map though so it's not really worth redoing it just because I rolled now in this case if you wanted to go faster you just go to the right but in this case I wanted more ammo so I went to the left because I'm trying to move quickly I just ignore the ammo on the left You'll note here that it says the leaderboard best, 9 million. It's pretty widely accepted that cheating in this game. The readout is a little different than it was earlier because this is actually my second time I completed this map. The first time I did it with just the pistols, and I didn't get enough points. So I imagine using the submachine gun will actually get me more points because I hit the enemy more times. Old Town, Stage 5, Start. Actually, maybe we should have turned left back there. Never mind, we'll just take the scenic route. Alright, this one actually was a lot easier than the previous map, like significantly easier. If you want all the ammo, you should get the ammo from the middle guy before finishing up the room, or just be aware that it can be difficult to get your combo going if you stop to get all the ammo in the room. I like to skip the guy in the middle here, so that his body does not land on that box and stop me from killing the guys out of the right door. You can't actually knock this guy down with the barrel, but I just go ahead and shoot him down. You know, I'm not really sure why I fly through the door inside of the window, but it's actually kind of been more interesting this way because I'm sure a lot of people fly through the window instead. I like to shoot down the box so that my character can keep running. This guy drops a submachine gun, but I will ignore it so I can keep moving. I go and deliberately wound him, just so I can kill him down the road, so my combo meter will not dissipate. So basically anytime I do something like that, it's because you can have a little bit of problems keeping your combo going. And here I actually mess up jumping on the platform. Sucks. But I actually pull off this next big jump. Old Town, Stage 6, Start. I bet you a biscuit you can't kick that ball into this hoop. Actually, sorry, I think I ate all the biscuits. A double bet you can't take out that guy with the ball. Now, in this case, there's a little transition there because after about the 15th try or so, I just stopped letting the dialogue play out. Now, I shot in front of the doors there because I'm trying to get the enemies to show up at a certain time. If the enemy leaving a door sees a bullet, he will actually back up and wait a bit.
Once you get into this building, as long as you keep moving forward, you should be able to keep your combo meter going. And since it's one enemy at a time, you should be pretty safe since you can see them well before you get there. The set of triplets here is perhaps the most dangerous part of that building. Old Town, Stage 7. Start. Aha, we made it. Mitch the Butcher's Fine Dining Restaurant. Maybe you could grab a couple of takeaways while we're here. Alright, if you duck after you kick, you actually do not need to be in animation. And if you do exactly what I do here, you'll be able to clear out this room, no problem. Jumping up the stairs up here is to be faster, so that's what I do right there. Now, it took a lot of tries to make this section work out. Kill the third guy. Focus, dodge, and jump down. And use both knives to kill the last two dudes. You want to do it this way so that you keep your bonus going into the next room. I didn't end up getting one submachine gun, but that's alright. I ended this map with a lot of ammo. That guy right there throws a knife. I've not actually been hit by it, because I don't want to get this far just to get hit by a knife. It probably only does damage and does not kill you. The blue guy on the left here can actually hit you if you're in the middle of where the pan started from. I deliberately get caught on these lasers so that I can shoot down this turret keep my bonus going. Now, as soon as you get up here, definitely start shooting down range so that you can keep your bonus moving. After you kill this guy, do not kill the guy near the crate until you get closer, because you gotta hit this button and wait for more enemies to exit the doors. You wouldn't want to lose your multiplier this close to the end. Hometown, final stage, start. Alright boss, she's all loaded up and ready to go. About damn time. And you better have dealt with the runaway meat bag by the time I'm back. Useless slackers. Sometimes he really hurts my feelings. Let's just stick around here for a while and enjoy the music. Look, there's a motorcycle at the top of those stairs. This is our chance to escape. Oh crap, look, it's the meat bag. Alert the others. Let's get him. Well, this is the section that I would consider the bonus stage. To get the enemies to begin spawning, you need to actually move around a little bit. Not that it's a big deal. And of course, I'm getting hit here. The way this map works is your character will only ever shoot directly in his line. So wherever his lane is, he can only shoot there. You're up and down, you're moving your curse up and down, which essentially affects elevation. And while I can use focus, I wasn't able to figure out a way to dodge. I know that you can pop a wheelie and you can jump, but none of that really seems none of that really seems to help me get through this map without getting hit once. I'm just gonna go ahead and classify this as a bonus stage because normal game mechanics do not apply here. Each car has three guys in it and then it blows up. Also, if you find yourself short on ammo, doing a select level from the main menu will start you with a default amount of machine gun bullets. However, if you're continuing from a previous map, you get to keep those bullets, so you can opt to use that to your advantage. Well, the enemies before the boss are set in a certain pattern, the kill count will vary so that you can get a full bonus, because you pretty much have to clear out each wave before the next wave appears. Now, the number of enemies at the end of the map is different depending on how you do this. I actually beat this map the first time, again with pistols, but I didn't get a high enough score. Get over here, you imbecile! Mitch the Butcher basically has two attacks. He drives at you and tries to shoot a shotgun, or he throws bombs out the top. The bombs, even though they're thrown, look like they're homing in on you. So if you weave around or something, they still pursue you. It's ridiculous.
You'll pay for what you did to my restaurant. I'll teach you some manners. Good riddance. We need to lay low for a while. Head to District Null. It's as good as deserted. We can hang around there while things cool down. And that was my Old Town S rank no damage speed run. Hope some of the tips I've given and the strategies I've shown here can help you out. Thank you very much for watching Tran Wins My Friend Pedro. I'll see you next time.